out. Yes. Intro. What? Uh, take one. <coughs> Wait. Out intro. What? Yes. What? 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 No what? Intro. what am I talking about? What? 2018. Woof. My my network. 2018. We managed to get most of our successes from the collaborations we secured with a lot of the. <laughs> so, uh, 2018 was an election year. Don't do that. So, you want to put those bloopers where I'm doing those to my end? You're so mean. Nice. Do you not want me to find Osband? 2018 was a pretty cool year. It's been a crazy year. It was an election year. So, you know, it just means it's a roller coaster ride. Yeah, 2018 was a, was a crazy year. But despite that, the projects managed to grow, managed to pull through. We're still here, we're still standing. I mean, we had another disputed election, the August 1st shootings, and to top it all off, a crumbling economy. Um, but I think, despite it all, uh, as Magamba, I think, you know, we managed to be part of inspiring young people to get out there and vote. Uh, I think we got really important alternative information out to young people. Uh, we opened up that space for free expression. And most importantly, hopefully, we got people to laugh about the crazy situation that we're in. Um, but we'll let the project officers get into that. Peace! We managed to cover the 2018 elections pretty well, uh, and I think that was evidenced by how many people ended up following our online platforms. We had over 100,000 people uh, following Open Parley on Twitter and accessing r in real time the political information that was coming out. Uh, we built a messenger bot, a Twitter bot, and a, a Facebook bot, uh, which all helped people access uh, election information. And uh, I mean, we got listed as one of the five disruptors on the continent by the Liquid Telecoms Generation Z report, which was also very cool. Looking back at the content that we produced as the Feed ZW, 90% of it uh, had a youth focus and it was produced using smartphones. So I think we really played a critical role in terms of getting young people involved in um, the electoral processes from a social, economic and uh, political point of view. Why this is important, um, our media landscape is heavily polarized and oftentimes it, it was mainly focusing on the main political parties at the expense of young people and ordinary citizens. So I would say the Feed ZW became the voice of the voiceless from a ghetto youth point of view to the uh, vendor in the street to the hustler. Our greatest success actually came out of our biggest challenge and that is the fact that there was a very big cholera outbreak in Harare, Chitungiza and other parts of Zimbabwe and that caused the Ministry of Health to actually send out a directive that all public gatherings had to be cancelled but we managed to make the festival happen by establishing a lot of partnerships with different organizations and individuals and we raised awareness about cholera and gave out things like hand sanitizers at all our sites during the course of the festival and yeah it was pretty crazy but it was great we managed to work together with a lot of the spaces within our community to come up with some really amazing impactful projects one i can actually think about right now is we collaborated with the swedish embassy and wikipedia and participated in the wiki gap the wiki gap is a worldwide um, collaboration where they try to create more content for wikipedia that focuses more on women. With that collaboration, we were able to organize and mobilize a group of journalists and young women interested in seeing more Zimbabwean women online. The result of that was that we were able to contribute 15 Zimbabwean women to Wikipedia. And in 2018, one of our biggest successes was seeing the growth of SATA uh, especially amongst young people, uh, seeing more young people using SATA as a weapon that they can use to express themselves and demand accountability, especially with regards to uh, government processes. We saw many young people using SATA uh, in and around the 2018 elections. And one of the biggest challenges that we suffered during the same period was you know, government inconsistencies, uh, which made it very difficult to plan ahead because the same things that you could be basing those plans on could be revoked, could be taken away, or could just straight up disappear. 
Uh, it made it difficult for us to plan our productions. It made it difficult for other young people to plan around the activities. So, um, yeah. So, what's next? I think we keep doing our thing. Onwards, upwards, and keep inspiring the youthies.